received a young boy into the emergency department during one of the mass casualties who had half, half of his face and neck blown off. Luckily, the organs that are vital for breathing and blood supply to the brain were preserved. They were visible, but preserved. And he was talking to us. He couldn't see himself, so he didn't know what he looked like at that point in time, and he kept asking for his sister. His sister was in the bed next to him. The majority of her body was burned beyond recognition. He didn't recognize that the girl in the bed next to him was his sister. His entire family, parents and the rest of his siblings, were killed in the same attack. That boy survived, and the next day I went to see him, a very young plastic surgeon, one of the few remaining plastic surgeons in Gaza, because the others have either been killed or have, had to, have fled, understandably had removed part of his chest and created a graft to cover that, those vital uh, organs of the neck. He was lying in his bed and mumbling because it was so difficult to talk, and he kept saying, I got really close to him and he said, I wish I had died too. And I said, what? And he said, I think my entire family has gone to heaven, or it's not my entire family, his exact words were something effective, everybody I love is now in heaven, I don't want to be here anymore. That is one of so many stories. I'm giving you, I'm so sorry, Leila, but I think people need to hear this. I'm giving you the story of one child, 